boys and girls, welcome, welcome. My name is Professor K.M. Istri. I am a retired chemistry teacher, and your teacher has invited me into your classroom today to do a little demonstration. She's been so busy with all this new learning going on, she asked me to help her out. Now, I heard that you're learning about plants, and structures and all the different parts of a plant. There's a big question. How do plants get all the nutrients they need? So I'm gonna have you open up your notebooks a little bit later and you're gonna write down your hypothesis. What do you think? How do you think plants get their nutrients? But we're gonna set up a little lab today and then check back tomorrow and find out. So what you need today is one stalk of celery, two cups, these are recyclable cups. I always do my science on a tray because you might spill. So I'm going to put the tray down and the cups. And I have two spoons, you can use one spoon, and I have two bottles of food coloring. I have red in blue, if you have other colors, purple or green, yellow is not my favorite, doesn't show up. All right, so what we're gonna do to get started, I didn't mention you need a cup of water, and you need a knife with adult supervision. I am just gonna use my scissors, you can use scissors. So let's get started, okay. I am so excited. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the end of the celery off, like so. So now I have a little piece. Then I'm going to make a cut, I would say about halfway up the stalk of celery. See, scissors work great. And I'm gonna take my celery and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna stick it one half in each cup, like so. Got it? Okay, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour some water. I would say, I don't know, a little more than a half a cup in each one. A little water on each side. Whoop, see, I have a tray. I'm going to take one bottle of food coloring and I'm gonna put in five drops. One, whoop, two, three, four, five. You don't want to squeeze it out. And then I'm going to put five blue on the other side. Once again, it doesn't matter the color. And if you only have one color, it's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Be careful with food coloring because it will stain. Did you ever eat a blue cupcake and then your teeth all turn blue? Same thing's gonna happen with food coloring. So I would be doing this in your kitchen or on the uh, table, not in your bedroom, not in your bed. So now I'm gonna stir the water so it turns red. And then I have another spoon, I'm gonna turn it. So it turns blue, it all dissolves and mixes in. And we're gonna let it sit overnight and we're gonna check it tomorrow in class and see what happens. Now I'm thinking about some of my predictions. Think about what you know, maybe what could happen. And we'll check back tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, my name is Professor K.M. Istri and I'm coming back today to show you the results of our science experiment that we set up yesterday. Yesterday we set up our celery stalks and we wanted to see how the plants get their nutrients. So if you can see on my tray, you can see the blue and the red. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the celery and I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off the ends like so. And when I turn it over, you can see tiny little blue dots. Those are tubes that travel up the whole plant. If you look over here at my chart, they're called xylem. So what happens is the plant absorbs the water through its roots. It travels up the tiny tubes and it continues traveling right all the way down to the leaves. So you can look here, the leaves over here on the tips have all turned blue. On this side, I don't know what happened. This side died last night. But if you look very carefully, I see a little bit of red. And if I look on this side of the celery stalk, I see blue, whoop, blue and red. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off at the very top where it was all together. Oh, can't get my fingers in my... And I can show you right here. We have blue. The blue went up the, to the tip. And this side is red. So as you can see, boys and girls, plants get their nutrients through the roots. They absorb all the water. It travels up the little tubes and then out to the leaves. Thank you. I hope your teacher invites me back again. I just love doing these experiments with you. See you next time. Bye.